right guys it is blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Corey, aka blockchain uh starting off on my website blockchaintatrading.com the link is below uh biggest thing i want to highlight in there is a quick description of the exclusive discord that we have in there uh for technical analysis options alerts and crypto alerts so no matter what market you're in um we have you covered so a little intro about us um the three different levels of membership between the monthly yearly and lifetime uh starting off on the yearly you actually get the full six six uh full the <laughs> full six segmented trading class uh, that I have that um, covers a lot of the trading essentials that I use my technical analysis so you can follow along with me and then of course the number one trading strategy that I use for free just fill this little guy out and I'll send you a video demonstration on my number one trading strategy that is consistent profitable reliable and applicable to any market so make sure you guys get in there and check it out uh, as well as with um, a, a couple testimonials here so um, definitely get on check it out hopefully I'll see you guys in the discord uh, so let's go ahead and speaking of which I guess the discord let's take a quick look so that way you guys can see what's going on in there um so from a crypto perspective we have kj um he alerted us of a 122 percent gainer today um and then in the traditional markets um if you missed the last week um we have where is it where's his rundown these are all the ones he had today um so last week he actually had a th like three percent or three thousand percent uh confirmed profits from his calls last week two thousand the week before 1500 the week before um so just absolutely killing it um and then of course and you can see some of our members gains that we have here um so actually a couple option calls that i've had there um, I had a thousand percent gainer from my technical analysis that I posted. Um, MDU Chow, um, you know, sitting quite nicely with over thirty thousand percent profit on uh, on some of his um, trades that he's been in. So all good stuff. So hopefully I'll catch you guys in there. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into the charts. All right, all right, guys, it is Blockchain coming at you with another technical analysis update. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Corey, aka Blockchain. First thing I want to start off and highlight here is the block bot version 1.3. So if you guys are a premium member in the Discord, you now have access to the block bot. Um, and what this is, this is a custom indicator that it is um, mine exclusive. And the whole idea and the whole purpose of this is to one, have a support EMA zones and resistance EMA zones, as well as highlight trends and try to catch trend breaks. Um, because as we all know, the trend is our friend and that's what we want to stay with. So it's pretty, pretty spot on for the most part. Um, and it's also going to act with re, uh, supports and resistances. Um, it's going to have your sell and your buy indicators as well as your take profit. So um, it's also going to give you those indicators as well. And all of those are customizable. So you can customize it to your chart, to your asset, to your risk management, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so all, all good stuff. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty exciting thing to, uh, to come about the Discord. So I know members are liking it already. But just want to highlight that out there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, and a couple things, and I just want to highlight real quick. Um, today's going to be fairly quick. I'm not going to do a deep dive of the smaller time frames, but I want to highlight a couple things here. So we do have the daily close happening in 55 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, a big point that I know the bulls are going to try and set in is close above the 200 SMA, which is basically 45. 400 we'll call it um can they do it i think uh, i mean it looks like they're starting to put in a little bit of a battle to get up there right now with price action being 44 900 um you know we did have a little bit of a dump down to 44 3 earlier um i guess over the past day or so um, you can see the r2 has held so far as support um you can see that the uh, the RSI is curling back down. Um, we are about to hit our slow moving EMA. Hopefully find that as support. 
um, VWAP curling down a little bit, um, and that's about it from a, a daily perspective. <clears throat> So that's going to be the biggest thing is I want to look for is a closure above the 200 SMA for for today and see what kind of reaction we get. Uh, if we take a quick look at the 16 hour, uh, definitely getting squeezed a little bit. Um, again, kind of holding that same area as support from a pivot. We also did bounce off of the bottom of the volume band on the RSI. VWAP is starting to curl back up on the 16 hour as well. Um, and you can see definitely getting pretty contracted on the BBWP. Um, for the eight, um, trying to break back into the volume band. So that's going to be the, a big difference here that we're going to have to pay attention to. Um, and we did get a nice little bounce off of the bearish control zone. Uh, BBWP also pretty much on the floor. Uh, so we're going to look to see if we can break back into that and get an eight hour closure, which is also in, in 53 minutes above the um, all these SMAs and EMAs here. And six hour, same thing, uh, bounced off of the 40 in the bearish control zone. We did get a nice little buy signal here on the six hour, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but again, also have that closure happening in 53 minutes. Um, I'd like to try and get above you know, 45, uh, potentially 46. So uh, bulls are gonna have to step in um, and step in pretty quickly over this next hour to get some closures up there. Um, and you know I, I would, that's the, really probably the biggest thing that I'm going to be looking for is see where that candle closure comes in at. Um, and the four hour, let's see, we did break back above our fast moving EMA. It looks like we're potentially coming back to back test it. This looks like it is about to cross bearish if we do get some more downward momentum and some downward action though. Um, so that is going to be something we're going to have to look and pay attention to. Um, and what I was looking for earlier was actually a break here. Um, let's go to the two hour. So it highlights a little bit, a little bit better. Um, so a little bit of an RSI trend line here. Uh, but you can see from the prior high, um, we got that resistance right there, and that it, you know definitely pushed us back down a little bit. Uh, View op is you know actually, it's, I mean it's still definitely going on the downward side, um, but we also have the two hour two hundred SMA down here support with this pivot as well. So you can definitely see that there's definitely some support under us. So definitely a battle over this next hour or so, um, and see what that turns into. Um, it's you know at some point um, it, it I guess at a point where I would turn bearish um, we would definitely need to start breaking some of the prior lows so right here 43 800 um, is a big one that I would be looking for um, but you know nothing as of yet but if we do break this trend line back to the upside I mean we'd probably break it um, and then come back and back test it and really kind of just potentially launch off and go from there so if we do curl back up break it come back we'll back test it and then it, and then it's go time in my opinion and would start looking for at least 50k um, <clears throat> so those are gonna be my biggest things but um, you know pretty much a break of the 43800 on a lower um, and start making some lower lows that's gonna you know flip me towards a little bit more bearish uh, but even on the you know the higher time frames where we have had you know this correction come down um, you can see that we do have some pretty good bullish divergence in regards to you know RSI um, you know for the most part not so much on the eight hour um, but we do have it on the four I mean between this point and this point um, with the six yeah I definitely have it probably a little bit more on the six we do have some hidden bullish divergence on that piece of it so um, that's what I'll be looking for and let's go to ETH real quick <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing we'll start off here on the daily let's just take these off um, because they are not needed at the moment oh and I totally forgot 1,000 followers. Thank you guys. That was going to be my intro, and I got too excited with the with the block bot. So, uh, 1,000 followers when sub uh, subscribers, I guess, for YouTube. So I appreciate that um, immensely. So thanks for the support, guys. Um, all right. So ETH here on the daily. 
Um, definitely has been more bullish than Bitcoin. Um, the one thing I don't like to see here on the daily is if we get the closure in 50 minutes, um, as we do have our little, uh, it's the money flow index turning red, and we don't have a whole lot of those over the history of where it's literally just one day. So, I mean, we have one right here. Um, we have one right here, but most of the time when we get those, we get a few consecutive, um, which usually means that we have continued you know movement to the downside um, three thousand dollars is a pretty important level for ETH to hold um, and you know we can see that we're starting to crawl back down test the bottom of the bullish control zone um, not much else to really point out here on the daily that's gonna be the biggest thing um, kind of similar to Bitcoin where we do have that pivot level that we're again trying to hold BBWP is absolutely on the floor on the 16 hour uh, which is you know definitely getting some contraction and would look for a larger move coming up I'd probably say what to say Wednesday um, I would probably say by the end of the week and maybe we'd look for uh, a, a pretty decent move here coming up on ETH um, what we also want to point out too, or I guess what I want to point out as well is right here is, uh, is the moon phases. So if you're in the discord, you've heard me talk about the moon phases and this is where we have a full moon coming up, um, which generally has been the, the bull moon. So we'll pay attention to that as well. We'll see what kind of reaction we get. Uh, but RSI here on the 16 hour testing the 50, um, not a whole lot. We are starting to see the view up curl back up, uh, which is generally our leading indicator that we're going to get some continued upward momentum. Um, and RSI is sitting on the 40 on the eight hour. Uh, BBWP absolutely again on the floor, um, trying to curl back in and get the volume banned because we did break out a little bit. Um, and same thing with this one as well on the six hour. Uh, but you can see here from the six hour where our divergence is even better, our, our hidden bullish divergence, I'd say, is even better on um, ETH than what it has been on uh, Bitcoin for the ones that I was talking about. I mean, we can even go back to this low here where, you know, obviously pretty significant difference. Um, so it looks like ETH, in my opinion, would be hopefully gearing up for some continued upside. So that, I mean, that's the way I'm looking. That's the way I'm leaning. Um, but I don't want to see a closure below $3,000. Um, in my opinion, I want to see, I like to see the bulls get their closure um, above the 200 SMA on Bitcoin as well as a $3,000 closure for ETH. Um, let's see, four hour also can see that we did get a little buy signal here on the market liberator um, and two hour kind of smaller time frame again just you know kind of stuck inside the bearish control zone but definitely getting squeezed um, you know coming up so uh, you know we might get something actually before the daily closure a break in one way or way, one way or the other um, but you know definitely getting squeezed and definitely a little indecision happening here in the market. Um, let's go ahead and do dot um, I told Spidey Shuffle I'd do dot form today. So on the daily, um, just screaming on dot. Um, and it is at a, a little bit of a resistance point at the moment. Um, and what I'd be looking for here on the daily is, you know, we did get the sell signal here on Market Liberator. Um, but we are looks like we're coming back and testing the fast moving EMA here on the RSI. Um, bullish control zone is all the way down here, you know, at the 70. So, you know, we can correct all the way back, but normally when this happens, we'll get a little bit of a bounce off of this fast moving EMA. Um, and with as bullish as dot has been, it wouldn't surprise me um, if we get a nice bounce and then continue on um, to the upside. But that is pretty significant. Um, and let's get a measured move off of that. I mean, 148% move. That's intense. So DOT's just been tearing. Um, you can see, you know, holding all EMAs um, and nothing bearish about this at all whatsoever. Um, you know, if we start to lose a couple of these, then, you know, might look for a little bit more of a continuation. But right now, you can see every single back test um, of this EMA cloud has just been, it's been bought up. So um, definitely something to pay attention to. 16 hour um, holding the bullish control zone ever so nicely um, you know we dropped back into a little bit here but you know with the cloud getting pretty squeezed um, you know I, there's got to be normally there's going to be a break at some point in time on the on the cloud um, 
we did have a sell signal, got a little bit of continuation on the downside right here, um, but not anything in my opinion to worry about. Um, let's see, again, was this the 60? Yeah, it's the 60. So um, again, holding the bullish control zone, even on the eight hour, just, you know, just ranging and bouncing back and forth between it. I mean, it looks like it still wants to have some continuation as it did get a little bit of a bounce on there. Um, you know, if we get, you know, an eight hour closure you know, above 24.9, um, yeah, I, I think it's still got room to run, honestly. I think it'll be, you know, again, pretty strong. Uh, VWAP curling back up on the six hour. Um, I mean, yeah, there's nothing bearish about anything that I'm seeing on this guy. Uh, found support on the lower volume band, and uh, honestly, right now I might have to go ahead and uh, go buy some dot because <laughs> um, it's just been on a tear. So, uh, cool guys, that about wraps it up. Um, you know, from a, a wave perspective, uh, you know, dot, it's kind of messy. Um, you know, I'd look for more. This is a one, two. Um, so one, two, three, four, and five. This is the third. Um, so it looks like this would be kind of a fourth wave, potentially in a five. Um, and five wave, fifth wave can get, you know, quite overextended. You know, I, we could get a fifth wave up to 37 bucks, but, um, you know that's roughly what I what I'm looking for at the moment. But again, play by level, level, uh, level by level. Um, you know, even here with the six hour view up curling back up, looks like we're about to get a nice another little buy signal. Um, but all is looking good on on dot. So, um, but that's all I got, guys, for today. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the Discord. If not, I'll get you on the video tomorrow. So wherever you're at in the world, good afternoon, good evening, and or good night, and hopefully catch you guys in the Discord.